What's up? It's Toby once again, aka Cushing from the T and D channel. First off, check out everything we do. You love it. We got a podcast called Drinking a Joint. We got a flashback flicks coming soon, probably, where we watch movies together. And we got a, a show that Davey does called Play Dead, where he does Grateful Dead tutorials for guitar. And this is Loose Beats, where we chill out and make a beat. And I got a brand new one here. So, you know, nothing's labeled, nothing's mixed, as always. One of the reasons we call this Loose Beats. And I just wanted to show you this new idea of how you could really quickly pull together a really cool hook and basically make the entire template for your song, you know, uh, just all in one little package. So we got uh, this grand piano first, uh, which again, is just a, let's see, it's, you know, I use those Logic presets, those instruments just built in just because I try new ones out and I'd use other things and it just ends up that these are basic and you can run through and EQ them differently and add different things to make the tonality a little different. So by, you know, getting new instruments and using them, you really just find out that they're just helping you skip steps, which is nice sometimes, but sometimes you don't need it. So this grand piano sound, we can see our chord progression. Just a nice little little arrangement, you know, real simple. And this one ends up being kind of poppy and upbeat, which, you know, the lyrics may not be, but it's just uh, kind of how you're feeling that day. It's a little sad, but sad songs are good, you know? They say so much, as Elton John says. So this next one we got on top of our piano, we got this uh, synth pad called Nostalgic Talking which uh, just kind of ran through uh, the scale and, uh, you know, play a little, you know, lead melody on top of it. Really bright, really, you know, ecstasy kind of shit, like. Yeah, nice little lead that we got over there just to make the melody not so boring. And uh, I'll jump down to this uh, crunchy synth patterns, which uh, is inside your synthesizer rhythmic area. And so I took this uh, MIDI from our grand piano and played it again and left it a little more human and kind of went in and left them short so they didn't ring out too much. And uh, the synth is built in alchemy here, which they throw you uh, with a little different setting. So I'll show you what I got now. You know, I just like to bury those pads like that for depth just to give it something a little more interesting than your regular piano again this is why people skip steps with instruments but if you just layer it you know it's going to give you uh, the same kind of quality sound so they throw you on this swirling they throw you with your decay higher your delay higher and show you the yeah i see that was too bright and it was cutting through a lot so i went down to the percussive and it kind of buries it a little bit more. And it just phases your piano in and out, which is kind of nice. So you can hear that melody all together. Well, we got this one, uh, the spectacular, Spectacularity. Okay, it's a spectacle with some arity on there. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a real word to me, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a synth with some glide on it which uh, it'll just pull your tone from nothing up to the tone you're going from pretty much, you know. You can hear that. I'll have to start it. 
And it's, it triggers itself really differently, which is weird. Sometimes it'll pull it from nothing. Sometimes it'll start, depending on... Like, yeah, see, now it's hopping right into it. Let me hear it on this break. Yeah, you can hear our glides a little bit in those changes. It, uh, it always triggers itself slightly different, which is always weird to me. Um, but yeah, that's just using our, our retro synth here. And I, I, I liked it how it was. I don't know why it's not pulling up. It might in a minute now. Wanting to start us off right at those higher notes, but you'll see how that kind of leads us up to our drop and comes in a little early just to kind of let you know what's about to happen. So, here's our melody all together. <laughs> You heard a little bit of the glide that time. Sometimes, for some reason, I don't know. I mean, with changing no settings, sometimes it'll do a from scratch pulling up to the note, and sometimes it'll pull from a last played note, you know. I'll have to figure out how to trigger that exactly the same time. I'll come back to you with some knowledge on that. So now we got our beat coming up. Uh, we got our hats really simply set up through our ultra beat and our hats are just straight across the board this time no changes no chops keeping it really simple really poppy um, use the uh, tasty 808 the second hi-hat and uh, just straight across the board don't even need to hear them really uh, you, but you can hear them with our open hats here which I just gave it some uh, variation, some offset variation and some on time. And uh, that was from our Tasty 909. It's those in, I like that Tasty, it's on a bunch of them. <sighs> so you can hear our simple hi-hat setup. Little offset open hats, you know, but very basic. Kind of wanted a pop setup on our drums, everything but the 808s. And so now we got a snare down here. And with the snare, uh, same kind of thing. Like I say, I run through a few different variations and then I'll pull them over from the pattern here and uh, just kind of chop them up down here. So you can see our basic set. And then I went down and just did some really heavy scissoring down here on uh, these, lead, you know, the, the notes leading in and leading out, or following out, I don't know what you call that, from the actual hits, just to give it something to, this one, you know, hits and then falls off, stuttered, and this one stutters up to a couple solid hits, just to give it uh, a little variation. We're using our um, after party snare on that one. I just wanted it kind of trashy robotic, like, wasn't even too worried about it. And so we got our basic beat set up there, and then I bring in the 808. And so the 808 on this one was nice, it was fun. I used the uh, ESS, EXS24, which is just a sampler that comes stock in Logic. And I was just getting tired of the same 808 tones that I was using, and... I just want to start using some uh, samples that are a little different for all the drums. And so I pulled in the sample pack that I got for free. Um, I would plug them if I remembered the name, but you can find plenty of packs like this. Just samples, you know. And you can see how they all kind of hit in their own way. Some of them have got bit crushers distortion some of them are low some of them last a long time have a long decay mm, kind of like that but we worked through these i found one that kind of fit the song 
and I pulled it over into our uh, uh, sampler here. And the reason I did that was to get this glide. There's not many tools that actually have that glide slider on it. And so I wanted it a uh, little movement, you know, it's it's so you can look down here and see how uh, how these hits would normally go on the 808 and it would just jump up and be a clear cut jump. And sometimes they would overlap, you know, not sound good. And with this glider, you can really move it up and down and uh, not lose any tone and also just give it a nice little slide up to the note. And so I was really excited about that and how that turned out. So we've got our whole beat here. I'll show you real quick and it'll make more sense. too that's not uh, this pad isn't giving me some trouble with those slides too it's not giving me that glide like it was doing before but you can kind of see how it all comes together gives you a nice little pop rap kind of beat and a good little drop and this is basically a template for the whole song you basically take this and uh, you know, just make variations through different verses and drops and maybe add an instrument or two throughout. But this template you could use for, you know, a five, six minute song if you had different people on it, I'm sure. But uh, I went down and I wanted to show a quick verse over this just to give you an idea of kind of the pop rap approach to how you put the words together on this. And so, I only got this one hook set up, but I can show you the lyrics over here and uh, let you hear that together. I've been so gone since you met me and you'll go soon as you're ready. This life is such a nightmare and I'll wake up when you let me. You act like we're on the same team. Then run off do the same things Words might hurt the tongue when they roll off If I really have feelings I did end up changing that to From if you to if I And if you look up here you see our uh, Name remember feelings which is just a Always sunny in Philadelphia joke. This is crazy, but I'm having feelings again. It, like like some kind of 14 year old kid or something. I mean, you remember feelings, right? Yeah, I, I have, have feelings, feelings every, every single, single day, day of my day life. Of life. <laughs> so, kind of want the whole theme to be based off of someone that has feelings, but you know, doesn't have the same ones that you do, and therefore they seem like they don't feel, but they do in their own way. And it's a little love pop, uh, kind of sad love song, you know. And so that's basically our setup here. It's basically your entire template for the song. You can build your lyrics off of this, your verse off of this. Use this something like this as your drops. Uh, we showed how to glide up here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, you know. I, just, I wanted a short little get together on how to put together a cool little hook in the beginning of the song. And so remember feelings, guys, and thanks for showing up. This has been Loose Beats. I'm going to go out on this song. Love y'all. I've been so gone since you met me. You'll go soon as you're ready. This life is such a nightmare, and I'll wake up when you let me. You act like we're on the same team. Then run off, do the same things. Words might hurt the tongue when they roll off. If I really have feelings, I have feelings every single day of my life. Sitting together would be good too. 
Let me take a peek at you. We're the lecture now.